Hello, Thistleweight. Flying dreams. Wow. I was I had flying dreams from early childhood until about probably I think the just quite about in the middle eighties. Uh, and it's funny because I too used to have to flap my arms to get airborne. The difference is I was never really running from danger or trying to get away. It was more uh, showing off, I think. I remember one time playing um, in big piles of leaves and like playing tag or something and jumping in piles of leaves and so that no one could catch me I uh, started flying. The thing with flapping the arms, uh, are you sure you're I don't know, are you sure that you're flapping your arms to get airborne? Or are you flailing your arms around to keep yourself on the ground? My theory about flying dreams, my feelings about flying dreams, are that they are the way our brains, it's like residue that our brains have from uh, the alien abduction experience. So, and I think when you, you said recently that your dreams have changed and you lo no longer have to flap your arms, I think that could be that you have just resigned to the fact that you're going to be abducted and there's no reason to flail around and try to stay on the ground. I quit having flying dreams in the middle 80s when uh, one night... Uh, Totally lucid. I was not asleep. I was in bed, but I wasn't asleep. It just been in bed a little while. The whole bunch of greys came in and were jabbering and sort of dancing around and around my bed and basically having a good time, having a party. I was not able to move, but they weren't they weren't a threat to me. And after a while, they were just gone. And the very next day a little dog that had been traveling for a long time, he was covered with, covered with fleas, very skinny, followed me home, would not, I did not take him into my yard, I wouldn't even let him in, in the, into my yard, I left him in the alley, um, I didn't feed him, I didn't give him any water, he would not leave, the next day my neighbors were asking me if that dog that was barking and howling all night was mine, and I said, well I guess he is now, so, Anyway, that dog was uh, a Welsh corgi. Corgi in Welsh means dwarf dog. And the legends about corgis are that they are a gift from the wee people. So, I think that the aliens, after, I don't know, a, half of my lifetime of abducting me, uh, finally had finished doing whatever they were doing with me and kind of gave me a little party and gave me a gift, a gift from the wee people. So you might want to consider that that's why you are having these flying dreams. Um, now I don't really, I haven't really had a flying dream since then. But interesting question and I'm glad you brought it up. I hadn't really thought about that for a long time. So this is my response. Have a good night.